Welcome, all you comic book nerds. This is the comic book nerd coming at you. I want to talk about a comic that I've been wanting for a while. And a little bit about some Superman comics that I have. So, that is the get up. This is a Superman episode, as you can tell. Um, let's just start with some Superman comics I have. I want to get to a comic that I just picked up this evening. Um, very well priced. Very well priced. But we'll get to that. We'll get to that last. That would be our grand finale. But here is a Superman right here. This is number 148. Very old. Yes, it has a tear right here. And someone took off my DC logo. Man, that's a shame. I think I picked this up for a buck. A dollar. And next up, Action Comics number 326. And it actually has my DC logo. Action Comics. Right there. Superman. I like Superman. He's one of my favorites. Superman Adventures. The TV show. The cartoon. Loved it. Loved it. This goes along with the TV show. This is a crazy sports adventure uh, book. I read this. I've probably read this twice. This is a, a very good book. Uh, let's see here. Detective Comics. Number two. This looks like newer. Let's see here. July 2015. I got this for Christmas from my daughter. Superman... And it looks like Batman there, right there. I haven't read this. I think I read this on Christmas Day. If I think, if I remember right. And we got another one that I got for Christmas from my daughter. Black Dawn, DC Universe Rebirth of Superman. Number 21. Haven't read this one yet, but you can see Superboy's down there. Superman, great cover. Very great cover. Rated T for Teen, June of 2017. Now, let's get to the holy grail of what I have been looking for for a long time. Now, the story about this book is... I have had three chances to get this book, and now this is the fourth time. So, I wasn't going to pass it up. Now, I've seen this book at a comic convention in Crawfordsville, or uh, no, it wasn't Crawfordsville, it was Bloomington that I went to, and it was $15. It was a wall book, and I'm like, no, no, just uh, let me come back. That's why I told him, L let me come back. So I looked it up on my phone while I walked around with my daughter, and I was like, man, it's not worth 15 bucks. I'm not going to pay it. Nope, I'm going to pass it up. So I passed it up. And then I came across it online for ten. Like no, ten's not not gonna not gonna happen. I'm not gonna do ten for it either. It is a dollar book. It's worth about four bucks, four dollars. It it is a dollar bin book. But I call it my holy grail because it goes along with one of my favorite shows, and it is Smallville number one. 48 page premiere and let me tell you what I got This book. It's a beautiful cover You got Lana Lane there Lex Luthor and you got Clark Kent there in the middle Smallville DC it was on the WB This has a lot of inside information in it about the TV show about season one it's got a little bit of a comic in it, but mostly, mostly a lot of uh, notes from the TV show. That's why I wanted it. It talks about Jonathan Taylor Thomas being in season one. I don't know if you can see it very good. And it talks about um, how he was on uh, Judging Amy for a while. I didn't know that until I read it. So you guys just got to read the comic. And I got this for free tonight found this on Facebook Marketplace, 
and the guy was selling it for ten dollars and he said he needed to get rid of it he wanted to get rid of it quick he was selling all his comic books and i said okay i'm not going to do ten dollars but i'm going to message this guy so i said hey bud I've been trying to sell a bunch of my comics. They're sitting in my car right now. Would you like to meet up and trade for this comic? And he said, no, I kind of want the $10. And I said, I'm not going to pay $10. Uh, I think I'll just let it go. And, he's, and he said, uh, wait a minute. I see that you're local, which I was local at the time I was at work. I said, yeah, I'm local. And I, and, and I told him the story of how much I wanted this book so bad um and he's like okay i'll go down to five and i'm like i'm not gonna do five either it's a and i told him i said it's a dollar bin but fine book it, it's not really anything not really anything well to me it is but i said it's a dollar bin book you're gonna find it in, you're probably gonna find it for 50 cents and i said uh would you still do a trade? And he said, no, I'm trying to sell my comic books just like you. And I said, okay. And about 10 minutes later, he messaged me. He said, you know what? I listened to what you said. Let me set this down here. He said, I listened to what you said, and uh, it's not worth anything. And uh, I'll give it to you for free. So we met up, and he talked about Smallville. And I told him, I said, I've been looking for it forever. And he knows my backstory about Smallville, and I'm, you know, I'm still stuck on season six. But uh, I just wanted to make a little short little video about uh, about this. This, you know, it, it explains a lot about this first season. But if you haven't seen Smallville, you need to watch it. Okay, you need to watch it. It talks about the, it, it you know, jo Jonathan Kent, his dad, his mom the farm the kent farm uh lex luther how he became lex luther this is lana lane superman teenager that's all you really need to know and drama tons of drama on it so and i will leave you with this take care of your comics because they will take care of you see you guys